Today I thought I would take you guys along with me as I fill in a sketchbook page. You may or may not know some of my pages from TikTok and I thought I'd make an extended version for anyone who's interested. If you want, get your own sketchbook out and start drawing as well. It would be nice to parasocially draw together. But I hope you enjoy this video and you find it interesting at least. I didn't go into this planning on drawing anything specific but I felt like drawing cherries today so I'm gonna look at a reference. I get all my references from Pinterest. My initial idea was to draw these very realistic cherries and then on the rest of the page, I would do a bunch of different graphite drawings, but I didn't end up doing any of that. Um, <laughs> I did end up filling in this page though, if you want, you can see it on my TikTok. But yeah, I didn't end up using this page in this video, but I thought I'd leave it in because then you can see the whole process or everything that was going through my mind when I did this. I was thinking maybe I could do like a face right in the middle like I've done before. And then I can do like some other red objects, maybe. But do I want to do a face? I always draw faces. Maybe I don't want to draw a face. We're drawing Gracie Abrams because she's gorgeous. I haven't decided if how I'm gonna color this. I just know that I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a marker background, and then I might color it in with pencils or something like that. We'll see. I'm going to start out with the white highlights and then we'll go from there. I couldn't tell you why I chose this specific color. I guess I just thought it would look interesting coming through the pencil, but was it necessary? I don't know, it didn't do much. It just left a pink hue throughout the whole drawing. I don't know. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk about is how I colored the skin because a lot of people have asked me. It's not that hard, I never studied color theory, so basically all I'm doing is exaggerating the colors that are already in the reference. For example, all of the blacks and the browns in the reference are blue on my drawing, I drew them in as blue. And also like, when you see pink, you use like a very vibrant pink, or when you see a normal peach color, you use orange. And yeah, like play around with Purple shadows and blue shadows, they're very fun to play with. All of the lighted parts are more orange and yellow uh, toned, and all of the shadow parts are more purplish, bluish. I hope that made sense. If you try this, I'd love to see it, so tag me or send it to me. This is the moment I decided to scrap the cherries because they weren't giving what I wanted them to give. So I went with these flowers because I just think they make more sense. I think you can tell by now that I don't plan anything out, mostly because I hate planning in general, but I do think it helps me creatively because when you don't plan anything out and you just go with the flow, you're forced to think of creative solutions for like maybe to fix something or to fill in a space in a unique way. And a lot of the times you come up with things that you would have never thought of if you planned everything out. Of course, planning is good and you should, there's always a place for planning things out, of course. But I do think it's really freeing and cool to not plan anything out. I don't plan any of my sketchbook pages out. And sometimes, you know, maybe it would have come out better if I had planned it. Mm. But it's whatever, it's just a sketchbook page. 
at least I had fun. Anyway, that's my rant about planning. If you're struggling with being creative, maybe try that and don't plan things out and just do whatever you feel like on the spot. It might help, might not, I don't know. After gluing the drawing on the page, I wrote some lyrics from my favorite Eurasy song. It's an unreleased song called Blue. And I did misspell anticipated. I'm sorry, I did misspell it. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> anyway, um, we're coming to the end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experience.